The golden question is, how did I ever come up with this crazy little car? You could look at that like you'd bake a cake or a pie. There's sugar and there's flour and there's butter and eggs and milk. But in looking at the ingredients that contributed to the Manx, there was a lot of attitude from me. After I was home from the service in the Navy after World War II, I wanted to go to art school. My mother was this artistic person that no doubt had a lot to do with the formation of who I am. So I spent all my years in art schools and I learned to draw very well. Light and shadow, line and form, all these things are part of drawing. And drawing well was to spend many years of it as I did. I wanted to be a portrait painter, how's that? What a cornball ideal that is. Later in life, I loved the sea. I went to the ocean a lot. I sailed a lot as a sailor. But I was a, in the boat building world in Newport Beach, and I worked for the first large fiberglass sailboat manufacturer. I learned all about fiberglass production. I was hanging around with some guys messing around with handmade dune buggies. I saw it with my eye for drawing figures with a sense of movement and a certain thumb of the nose to traditions. Certainly if I'd known anything about car design, I wouldn't have ever done it because the less you know, the more freedom you have. I think I was subliminally driven somewhat by the movies and the funnies. I love Terry and the Pirates and I love Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. They all drove funny little cars that were way too little with great big wheels on them. There was never any room for their bodies, but that didn't matter. So I was probably driven by that. Uh, my sense of humor. Being a bit of a non-conformist, obviously, you can't create something like that and conform to automotive design. It's so different and so unusual, and yet I touched the humor elements in people. They loved it because it's fun. That's the message of that car. It just says fun. It also happens to be a hell of a good off-road racer. <laughs>